Um, so welcome to one of the first videos in my astrology series. The first video I'm going to be doing is talking about the Sun in Aries. Um, the Sun in Aries is firstly uh, what is the Sun? The Sun is your ego, the Sun is your sense of self, the Sun is your core energy, how you move through life, the constant energy that you are emitting. Um, one way to look at it is if you were a prism or a filter and light was shining through, your sun would be the filter and the light would come out the other side, if that makes sense. Um, so basically the sun is how you process the information of life, the information of, of energy and how you move through the world. Um, so sun and Aries. Um, so the sign of Aries is a fire sign. It's the cardinal fire sign. It's ruled by Mars. Um, fire energy is about willpower. It's about goals. It's about ambition. Um, Aries being the cardinal fire sign. Cardinal means, uh, it means the first to start something. It means a leader. It means um, an instigator. Cardinal signs are about instigation. Fire is about willpower. That means Aries are typically the first people to start a project. The sun being about goals and your, your higher self aesthetic and your self in general, your core energy and your creative capacity, putting sun in Aries, this is the exalted position of sun. So the sun is debilitated in Libra, which is the sign that's about other people, about relationships, and this is a cardinal air sign. Uh, Libra is about taking on debt. It's about taking on um, deals and negotiations and sacrificing your ambitions to keep the peace. However, um, sun in Libra is debilitated. Sun in Aries is exalted because uh, Aries relates to your goals. Sun relates to your goals. Um, Aries is a ruled by Mars, who's the soldier. It's a fire sign. The sun is a fire planet. Um, people might ask, like, why is the sun exalted in Aries and um, not Sagittarius or Leo, which are the other fire signs? Um, to that, I would say that... Um, so the sun is a what's considered in Hindu philosophy a sattvic energy, which means that it is very moral. It is a moral energy. However, it's still about goals. It's not as pure as Jupiter. Jupiter is the pure, the purest morality, the purest energy, because he's a teacher. He's a professor, essentially, a guru. That's why in um, India, Jupiter is called guru. The sun is your ego. It's still moral. It... it wants to follow the rules, but it would rather get stuff done. Um, the sun also has a capability to burn things that are in its presence because essentially, so what one thing you see is if you have uh, planets conjunct the sun, the sun kind of takes them up under their wing and uh, or under its wing and like these planets get kind of put on mute. So like for instance, if somebody had Venus conjunct the sun, they would um their desires and their their um spouse their their partners and their the women they were sexually attracted to in their lives would kind of be put on mute like their ego would kind of storm over females and i've seen this many many times people have come to me with venus sun conjunct or you know venus uh north node conjunct one of these really active dynamic planets even venus mars conjunct even though that's a little bit different um, and Venus kind of gets stomped out by these other planets and it gets the females in their life are constantly feeling like, God, this guy's crazy. His ego is like off the chain. Um, so that's kind of what happens with sun when sun goes over almost all planets. So, um, why is sun exalted in Aries and not, uh, like Leo or Sagittarius, which Leo is the fixed fire sign ruled by the sun and Sagittarius is the mutable fire sign ruled by Jupiter. 
So Sun is exalted in Aries because Mars does not necessarily care about the goals. It doesn't care about, or I mean, it doesn't care about morality, rather. It cares about the goals. So because the Sun is this moral energy that wants to be well regarded in society and life and it wants to shine with all of its basically it's just its ego it's your sense of status and your sense of self it wants to be it wants to just get stuff done and the energy of jupiter and to some extent the energy of sun cannot accommodate that to the degree that mars can um mars is the ruthless warrior that doesn't care if he steps on people's toes, and he doesn't care if he, um, you know, crushes people in the pursuit of his goals. And the sun vibes with that because the sun wants to accomplish these goals. And the morality is kind of second nature to the sun, where it's primary nature to Jupiter. Um, now, the only other thing that I really have to say about the sign of sun in Aries is that these people, their relationships will tend to suffer. Um, because the sun, it casts a debilitation on its opposition. So what that basically means is the thing directly across the zodiac, so if sun's here, this is the circle, the thing across the circle from the sun, think of it getting hit by like a laser beam or something. It kind of shrinks. Um, it gets burned. And these people, while they still may able, be able to have a relationship, in fact, they almost definitely will be able to have a relationship, they will put very high standards on the person that they are dating and they want them to be as much of a go-getter as they are and fight for their, their ambitions and their goals as much as they do. So in a way, this could be seen as kind of a good thing because, you know, obviously who doesn't want a person who, um, who seeks goals and like is very ambitious and assertive? Uh, but most people, at, at the result of this, for every give, there's a take – most people would be kind of turned off by this, be like, oh my god, this guy's so like self-obsessed. I can't believe he just wants to pursue his goals and he doesn't pay any attention to me. Meanwhile, the guy with Sun and Aries is just like, man, what is wrong with this person? She just sleeps all day and doesn't accomplish anything and wants me to do everything for her. Um, so that's the, clearly a point of relationship tension is that they want – the other person to be as driven as they are, and uh, they might have trouble finding that. But it, if they do find it, when they do find it, um, it tends to be better. Uh, their relationship tends to be pretty good because they put high pressure on the, the person, but it can bring a delayed marriage, delayed relationship. So that's my um, video for Sun in the Sign of Aries, and many more to come. Thank you.